Okay, um, out here again, wind farm. Uh, gonna do a bit of um, penetration tests with some uh, lovely chicken. Um, we've got, today, we've got some 38 grain pro slugs that I normally use, but I wanna try these 32 grain premium high impact ones Graham kindly sent me, so thank you Graham and Yvonne. Um, and I've got some uh, 34 grain wild wind slugs. I want to see what the penetration slash expansion of all these slugs are. I want to see what it does to the chickens basically. So we're going to fire three different groups at three different chickens. Um, so you know those chickens are going to be eaten by the target adjudicator there. She's uh, Maisie. She's going to um, have that so it's not going to be a waste. So. Uh, what I'm going to do also is I'm going to set up a chronograph and see what the downrange velocity of uh, these slugs are like. Um, I did do it a while ago, uh, just out of interest, and um, I can't remember. It was a certain weight um, wild band slug, and they, they, they were given still at 100 yards, like 750 feet per second, which is ridiculous. But um, I just want to do it just to see what um, what's going to happen with these today. So, uh, yeah, here it goes. Right, um, first chicken for the chicken test, penetration test, is this one. And it's a, this is going to be for a 38 grain slug. I thought to start off with this one. Just done a few sighters on there to try and get myself in. Um, so I'm going to just see what, if any, penetration there is with these slugs and um, do that. So it's going to be a five round group on these, uh, on these chickens. Kindly let us do this. So. Might be a bit slow loading because I forgot my loading tray and my magazine. So, but here goes. Oh, that was a strike. I would not like to be that chicken. Shot number two. Interesting to see what they do. I mean, our slugs have different expansion. These are all hollow points I've got, so we'll see. Just to remind you, 38 grain pro under slug, moving at about 859 feet per second. And I think. Probably producing about 65 foot pounds, which is a fair whack. One more. Okay, I think I was bone then, but yeah, whatever. Right, okay. Um, gonna uh, give it another go now with uh, a different set of slugs. I'm gonna put my hand in my pocket and see what I've got. Well, not my pocket, but my tray. And then go from there. Right, so next chicken, you're up.
Okay. Victim number two. Um, I've just done some ciders. This is with the 34 grain uh, Wildman slugs, flat based. And um, I just fired some ciders at the target there. And they're probably grouping about maybe an MRAD low, but I'm not zero, so I'm not, I'm not, I don't always use these slugs, but I just want to see what the penetration were on, on this chicken. So um, getting a model velocity, an average model velocity, about 899 feet per second with these. So here it goes. I've got on this chicken. It's my stepson ringing me, asking me if he can uh, be cleared to go on to something by the family link. I'll just turn him off. You learn. Oh, it's making a very, very hollow sound when he's hitting that chicken. And like I said before, my mate, there's no guts or nothing in here, but uh, there's bone and there's all sorts, so. One more, I don't know if that was. That is hitting hard, very hard. Can't see what, if there is any exit wounds with these, obviously I'm looking at this way, but. Okay. I'm gonna uh, ring up my stepson, ask him what he wants, give him a bollocking, and then I'm going to uh, go on to some other slugs. Now this will be a 32 grain Pro Hunters. So, uh, here it goes. Right, um, 32 grain Pro Hunters, and chicken number three, just done a few sighters and that to see what's going on, so I know where my point of aim is, so let's go see what these are. These are the 32 grain premium high impact ones, they've got a bit more of a hollow point, so uh, 
Let's see what happens, shall we? Apologies for the slow loading. I've, not, I've got my magazine today, so just using it. Try. That is hitting hard. That is hitting very hard. It's not working today. <sighs> I'm just going to put one, one more, because I can see where that grouping is. It's not a great group, but it's not what I normally use, and uh, I'm not really giving these slugs a, a proper assessment right now for, for myself, but. Let me just aim a little bit to help her until I get right square on there. Oh my god. Yeah, I saw meat coming out one then. Right, okay. So that's uh, 32 grain partner slugs. Uh, they're going coming out at probably about 888 feet per second. I'm trying to keep everything today at relatively the same similar sort of velocity because from 32 to 38 grain and even though that's not a lot of weight difference it is when it concerns pallets and stuff you know and uh, velocity and stuff so I'm trying to keep it as equal as possible um, yes you could argue why don't you use all, all the same um, weight slugs from different makers but these I know work well well they do when you know I'm shooting right so uh, we'll just see what happens there and see what what it looks like and then we're going to go on to a long range velocity test with each slug see what their downrange velocity is and try and not shoot my chronograph all right so here we go Right, Dave, let's have a look at this chicken. This is a 38 grain um, Pro Hunter slug, the uh, premium standard ones. These are the ones that haven't got the um, quite the depth to the hollow point, but this is what you're looking at here. That's an exit wound, and all, all of them, didn't they? All five shots passed clean through, didn't they? Um, so what we want to do, mate, is just open up that chicken a little bit, and let's just have a look and see what, what the meat damage is like, because, I mean, you're getting this pass through. Uh, I mean, there's a, there's a cavity there anyway, but I mean, let's have a look at the meat. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what I'm going to be looking at. 
I mean, there's an argument there that the slug should not pass all the way through, but unless I turn the velocity down, it's not going to do it. Um, so, it, I mean, that's 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 going to kill anything. That is, you know. So that works fine. Um, but let's have a look at these. What are these? These are, these are the 34 grain wild ones, and they were going at 879 feet per second, weren't they? And these yeah. pro at the 38 grains were 859 feet per second. I'm trying to keep all the velocities very similar. Um, the groups are opened up a bit more on that one there, but um, I'm not. I don't use these slugs a lot, and I have. I've had some good results with them in the past, but I've not spent a bit of time tuning my rifle. You see, so to get you know the most of it, but. I mean, they are pretty good slugs. They are very good slugs, actually. So, what we'll do, Dave? Let's, let's open up again and see. We've had no, we've had every single one's been passed through in it. So, yeah, every one. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. There's no lead in there. Just open up a bit more, Dave. Because there's a lot of bone around the collar and everything. Is that the collar? It's ass. I don't know. Yeah. I'll never tell a chicken. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, it's nothing in there. It's gone right through. Yeah. That's the entry there. Look. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that's so uh, that's doing very similar isn't it but these are the 32 grain premium uh, high impact and what's that there Dave mm. that's a little bit of a slug isn't it and you you I've did um, you pulled that out didn't you earlier so I don't yeah. see any more but nothing more in there there was some pass through but some of it obviously the slugs they're doing their job there aren't they um, I mean, they all work well. They all work well. Um, there's nothing wrong with any of them. It's, it's, it's going to kill whatever, isn't it? So, but it's good to see that you know it's not just a gimmick. When people say, "Oh, hollow point this and all that," it shows that it works. You know. So, obviously, that mess there that isn't totally created by this. Like, some of that's Dave's butchery skills. Yeah. But Long you time. see, like there, you see the the, ma the mashiness of it all there. That's all totally macerating the yeah. meat. So through that's the entry there. Yeah. I mean, uh, happy with that. They're all doing it. But I mean, that's a hundred yards. They're all at 100 yards today, and um, you know it's a that's a fair range anyway. But um, yeah, I'm impressed with all of that really. Um, we was going to use ballistic gel, but realised chicken is actually cheaper because it's three pounds for ten. So sorry, three pounds for ten. What was it, Dave? Ten, 10 for three. For yes, 10. yeah. But yeah, so um, what we're going to do now is do some downrange velocity checks of. Uh, all three slugs that we've been using a day and I want to see what what they're actually going to be doing uh, at 100 yards and see what their uh, velocities are so here it goes okay right let's have a little bit of a results time with that um, long-range chronograph um, put a chronograph out at 100 yards and tested each slugs um, wasn't getting very good readings uh, that's why I fired off three or four shots at a time I wanted to superimpose an image onto the screen and say this is what it's doing at this range at zero range and this is what it's doing at 100 and, and whatever the only problem is the chronograph doesn't get the reading all the time so that's gonna be a stupid idea so what I'll do is just get my lovely assistant Dave to read out the results of it so right Dave without no further ado we got the 38 grain pro anders and what was the starting velocity for them? 856. 856 feet per second. And what was the end result after 100 yards? 721. So what did that lose? 135. So it was 721 feet per second at 100 yards and it lost, sorry, how much? It lost 135. 135 feet per second. Right. Okay, so now moving on to the 34 grain uh, flat based wild man slugs. Um, let's. What was the starting velocity then? 879 feet per second. 879 feet per second. And the end velocity at 100 yards? 688 feet per second. And that lost? 191. Okay, okay. So I'll tell you what, mate, it's all really holding their their velocity. I mean, I'm not, I haven't, I should have bought some pellets and seen what they were doing after 100 yards, but I doubt very much any of these can compete with any of these slugs. These are some fine slugs. Um, and what was the last one? Because we ran out, Dave. Look, see? Yeah. We had, yeah, we got an empty bag there, and that's a 32 grain uh, Pro Hunters, the premium 
high impact. impact. That's it. Yeah, mouthful there. Right. And what was the starting velocity with them? Nine hundred feet per second. Yep. And, and what was the end? Seven hundred nineteen. You yeah. are interrupting me when I speak, <laughs> David. Right. So, starting velocity was nine hundred. End velocity. 719. 719. And what did that lose? 181. Right, okay. It definitely shows the heavier the slug, obviously. Is that right, Dave? Is yeah. my mass right? Yeah, the heavier slug is obviously retaining its energy the longest, but they're all retaining a hell of a lot of energy. I mean, they're only losing, you know, not not quite, but nearly 100 feet, 190 feet per second or whatever, you know. Is it a couple hundred feet per second? 191. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at, at most, you know. Spot. But, I mean, still. I mean, it's doing it, isn't it? You know, and it's uh, it's it's retaining it. It shows it as well that you need a good backstop because people will fire these slugs thinking they are pellets and they're just going to go and travel and travel and they just go and go, don't they? But, yeah, that's been a good day, isn't it, mate? Yeah. You hungry? I'm getting hungry, yes. Right. Time to sign off and have some kebabs, isn't it? Definitely. Right, thank you. Thanks for watching and um, see you soon. I'm going to try and do another video. Uh, a gentleman kindly asked me on my channel if I would um, upload something to do with the Kestrel 2600 um, ballistics meter. And I'm going to try and do that with some with my center fire um, and uh, do a little video then. But yeah, otherwise, thanks for watching. Bye.